वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल जे वी आर ऑनलाइन क्लासेस प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल एंड प्रेस द बेलाइकन हेलो स्टूडेंट्स ना वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल जे वी आर ऑनलाइन क्लासेस एंड टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट फ्रॉम सम नंबर थर्टीन योर सम नंबर थर्टीन हेयर द फर्स्ट प्रॉब्लम इफ एक्स माइनस नाइन इज टू थ्री एक्स प्लस सिक्स इफ एक्स माइनस नाइन इज टू थ्री एक्स प्लस सिक्स is the duplicate ratio of 4 is to 9 that means that means you can write x minus 9 by 3x plus 6 as a duplicate ratio of 4 is to 9 that means 4 square and 9 square duplicate ratio here that means you have to square the number so here 4 square and 9 square now you have to find out the value of x so from that equation here x minus 9 by 3x plus 6 and that equal to 16 by 81 now if you cross multiply this equation so you will get 81x minus 48x that equal to 96 plus 729 so from that you will get 33x equal to 825 and from that x equal to 25 that is the answer okay now the next problem sum number 13 3 in sum number this is sum number 13 1 now sum number 13 3 if x plus 2y is to 2x minus y if x plus 2y is to 2x minus y is equal to the duplicate ratio of 3 is to 2 so 3 is to 2 means 3 square is to 2 square that means 9 is to 4 then you have to find out x is to y that means you have to find out the ratio between x is to y so same problem just write down here x plus 2y by 2x minus y and that equal to 9 by 4 then cross multiply and you will get 14x minus 17y that equal to 0 so here x sorry 14x equal to 17y and from that x by y equal to 17 by 14 so here the ratio is 17 is to 14 okay now sum number 15 1 a woman reduces her weight in the ratio 7 is to 5 what does her weight become if originally it was 91 kg so original weight here 91 kg and the the ratio between the original weight and the reduced weight that equal to 7 is to 5 so if x be the proportional constant then 7x is the is her original weight and 5x is our after reduced weight where x equal to non zero constant so according to the problem so here the original weight equal to 91 kg so 7x equal to 91 so here x equal to 91 by 7 so that equal to 13 so x means 13 that means her reduced weight reduced weight equal to 5 into 13 and that equal to 65 kg so 65 kg is the answer now sum number 15 2 in sum number 15 2 a school collected of rupees 2100 for charity it was decided to divide the money between an orphanage and a blind school okay in the ratio of 3 is to 4 so for orphanage and for the blind school that means o is to b here the ratio is 3 is to 4 o for orphanage and b for blind school so total amount of money 2100 so that means for here the money here the money for for orphanage for orphanage school that equal to 2100 into and for blind school for blind school that equal to 2100 into now here the ratio is 3 is to 4 so 3 is to 3 that means this term is for orphanage and 4 for blind school so just write down here in this way write down here 3 and here 4 okay now in the denominator now in the denominator always remember that in the denominator there will be always the sum of the ratio so here the sum of the ratio that means 3 plus 4 that equal to 7 so here also 7 so that equal to 7 cancel out with 300 so it's 900 and it's also 300 so it's 1200 
so 900 rupees for the orphanage school and 1200 rupees for the blind school now sum number 17 in sum number 17 three numbers are in the ratio 1 is to, sorry 1 by 2 is to 1 by 3 is to 1 by 4 okay so three numbers are in the ratio so just change this ratio and it will be if you multiply 12 with each and every ratio then it will be 6 is to 4 is to 3 okay so 6 is to 4 is to 3 now the re ratio now according to the problem this is the ratio of three numbers and the sum of the square sum of the square it's given that equal to 144 sorry 244 so here 244 is the sum of the square of that three number so suppose if x be the proportional constant or the ratio constant then the first number will be 6x second number is 4x and third number that equal to 3x where x is a non zero constant so according to the problem atp the square the sum of the square that means 6x whole square plus 4x square plus 3x whole square and that equal to 244 it's given so that equal to 36x square plus 16x square plus 9x square that equal to 244 so from that equation you will get 61x square equal to 244 So finally, x square equal to four. Then x equal to two, as the square root of four that equal to two. So here the first number, first number is six into x. That means six into two. So first number twelve. Second number four into two eight. Third number two into three that equal to six. So these three are the answer. Now next one, sum number eighteen two. In sum number eighteen two. A invest of rupees, A invest of rupees fifty thousand, fifty thousand for six years. That means fifty thousand into sorry six months. So fifty thousand into six, and that equal to thirty, one two three four. Now next B invest sixty thousand for four months. So that equal to two four one two three zero four zeros. Now next C invest. Eighty thousand, so eighty thousand for five months. So that equal to four, one, two, three, four. Okay. So A invest fifty thousand for six months. That's why multiply with six. B invest sixty thousand for four months. So multiply with four. And C invest eighty thousand for five months. So multiply with five. Now you have to find out the ratio. You have to find out the ratio of the investment money of these three. So here a is to b is to c, a is to b is to c that equal to one two three four. Now two four one two three four. The next one four zero one two three four. So here the ratio is thirty is to twenty four is to forty. Okay, thirty is to twenty four is to forty. Then again fifteen is to twelve is to twenty. So fifteen is to twelve is to twenty is the ratio. Now in the question. Uh, if they together earn, if they together earn one eight eight double zero, that is the total money. If they together earn, then find the share of each. So now you have to find out the share of A, the share of B, and the share of C. So here the total money is one eight eight double zero. So first write down here one eight eight double zero in each and every share. So one eight eight double zero. Okay. Now just put down multiply. Now to find out the share of A, to find out the share of A, just write down here as fifteen is the ratio. So write down here fifteen. Share of B, just write down twelve, and share of C, just write down twenty. Now the next thing is you have to put a number in the denominator in each and every case. And I, as I said before that the denominator will be always the denominator will be always the sum of the ratio. So here the sum is five to seven. And two, one, three, so it's four, so forty-seven. So each and every year forty-seven. Okay. So now we have to find out the share of ratio, the share of uh, B and share of C. So here the share of A equal to six thousand, share of B equal to four eight double zero, and the last one share of C equal to eight thousand. Now next sum number twenty-one. So here sum number twenty and then one. 
अब द मंथली पॉकेट मनी ऑफ रवि एंड संजीव आर इन द रेशियो सो रवि इज टू संजीव दैट इक्वल टू फाइव इज टू सेवन दे आर एक्सपेंडिचर आर इन द रेशियो थ्री इज टू फाइव सो दैट इज द पॉकेट मनी रेशियो नाउ नेक्स्ट द एक्सपेंडिचर रेशियो एंड दैट इक्वल टू थ्री इज टू फाइव If each save eighty rupees every month, find their monthly pocket money. Okay, so first let the monthly pocket money of Ravi and that equal to five x, and for Sanjeev that equal to seven x, as x is the proportional constant. That is the monthly pocket money. Monthly pocket money. Okay, so now and their expenditure. Here for Ravi that equal to three y and for Sanjeev that equal to five y. Here y is the proportional constant that means y not equal to zero as well as x also not equal to zero. So here five x minus three y, five x minus three y equal to eighty and also seven x minus five y equal to eighty. As in the question it said that each and every each and every person that means Rajiv and uh, Ravi. Are both of our saves rupees eighty every month? Save rupees eighty means the total income. Then subtract the expenditure, and you will get the save money. So here five x is the pocket money, three y is the expenditure. So five x minus three y that equal to eighty. Now same case for the Sanjeev, seven x is the pocket money, five y is the expenditure. So seven x minus five y that equal to eighty. Now this is equation number one. This is equation number two. Now you have to solve this equation by any method. That means elimination method or subtraction, uh, substitution method or cross multiply method. So here we apply the elimination method and then you will get the value as y equal to forty. After you get that value y equal to forty, then put down this value in any equation. That means equation number one or equation number two, and then you will get. The value of x, and here the value of x equal to also forty. So that means you have to now find out the pocket money. So here the pocket money of Ravi, pocket money of Ravi that equal to five x. So five into forty. So five into forty that equal to two hundred. And the pocket money of Sanjeev that equal to seven into forty. So that equal to two eight zero. Now sum number twenty two. Sum number twenty two. In the class ten of a school, the ratio of the number of boys to that of the girls is four is to three. So boys is to girls that equal to four is to three. If there were twenty boys more, okay, boys twenty plus twenty boys more and twelve girls less. So girls twelve less. Then the ratio would be two is to one. After twenty uh, boys more and twelve girls less, then the new ratio will be two is to one. How many student were in the class? Now, as if uh, the boys and if the boys and the girls, the ratio of boys and girls that equal to four is to three, then number of boys equal to four x and number of girls equal to three x, as x is a non-zero constant. So, if twenty boys will be added, that means four x plus twenty. Okay, so four x plus twenty. That is the number of new boys, and twelve girls less. So that means three x minus twelve. That is the number of new girls. Now, if you find out the ratio of new boys and new girls, then just divide it, and that equal to according to the problem here two by one. Okay, so now just cross multiply. So four x plus twenty that equal to two into three, so six x minus twenty four. So here four x minus six x that equal to minus forty four. So minus two x equal to minus forty four, and from that here x equal to twenty two. Now we have to find out the total number of students. So here, boys equal to four into twenty-two, that equal to eighty-eight. Girls equal to three into twenty-two, that equal to sixty-six. So total number of students equal to eighty-eight plus sixty-six, and that equal to one fifty-four. So one fifty-four is the answer.